just in time. I'm about to start a really quick and easy week night dinner. So you know me, I don't want to spend a lot of time because I cook for work. I don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen when I go home. So I'm going to show you guys a really simple recipe. Let me just grab some oil. All right, so I have my frying pan on here ready. I am going to talk to you guys about what I have on my table. I have already like largely cut and stripped some onions, some sweet peppers. I have about three chicken breasts that I've cut into nice one inch size strips. Then I have some fajita wraps that I have just store bought. And I'm actually going to start by just heating those up while I talk to you guys about what else I have. So I have some fresh parsley chopped, some fresh shadow benny, a little bit of jiro. And I'm going to be using a Maggi onion and garlic cube and a Maggi uh, tomato and chicken. All right, so I'm gonna just start by heating up these wraps. Just want them to not, I wanna take that package taste off of them. So I'm just heating them very lightly. This pan does not have any oil in it. So I am, yes, I know you think I'm crazy. I'm using my hands. You can use a spatula for this if you'd like. So just a few seconds on each side, just to reheat them and make that taste homemade. Okay. for these fajitas, maybe two to three per person. If you like me, you might eat three. Okay, so this is my last one. Now let's start with the chicken. So we're making some super easy chicken fajitas, and to this we're gonna make some guacamole. Then I am going to, I put a little bit of oil into my pan, and I'm gonna add my, season up my chicken really quickly while my oil gets hot. So I'm gonna throw in the jiro, and I'm gonna do one onion and garlic cube, and one chicken and tomato cube. So the is gonna add spice, the chicken and tomato cube, and the onion cube are gonna add flavor. Have you guys tried any of my recipes yet? I'm still waiting to hear. I know the veggie burgers were a hit last time. And I think these ones are gonna be another hit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just toss that up with my hands. You could pre-season this chicken and let it sit in the fridge for about 15 minutes. But like I said, this is supposed to be quick and easy. So I'm just gonna do it on the fly. So I'm gonna drop that in. I'm gonna give my hands a quick rinse and you, you really don't want to like probe around and start um, stirring it around yet you want it to almost grill so you want to leave it there um, for a little while to really get a little nice color on that chicken give me two seconds I'm gonna wash up my hands so I left my chicken for a little while now I'm gonna give it a little stir recipe is already uploaded on nestlerecipescaribbean.com check them out i have a lot of nice recipes for you guys on there some that are nice and easy especially that when you have to feed your family over the week okay so now that my chicken is almost ready i'm gonna add my onions and my sweet pepper that is one whole red sweet pepper you could mix red and green if you have like two small ones or if you only have green no problem but i like to add a little bit of red in there because i like the color all right so i'm going to lower the heat on this just so my onions and peppers can get a nice gentle saute and i'm going to start my guacamole so for my guacamole i'm just going to have one nice avocado Great. You know you hate when you open your avocado and it's black on the inside. You grab a spoon. Scoop that out. 
Oh, just skin one to go with my guacamole. Nice. I'm just trying to get a little bit more out of it. And now I'm gonna add one more onion and garlic cube. Oops. One more onion and garlic cube to my guac. This saves me a lot of cutting up and greasing. Guys, I'm just throwing this paper everywhere. I'm gonna add a little bit of jiro. I think that's about a half a teaspoon. A little bit of shadow benny. And that's it. I'm just gonna give this a quick mash with my potato masher. And my guac is easy like that. Alright, so let's check on our chicken. Give this a stir. Yeah. See how I got little bits of color on that chicken? That's just from not mixing it around too much. Let me turn back up my heat. And now that it's almost finished, I'm going to add the remainder of my shadow benny. I always add my herbs at the end because you don't want to kill that freshness. Then I'm going to add a good amount of chopped parsley. You see how I have those nice colors going on? I have some white from the onion, some red from the peppers, and now some green from that freshness of that shadow benny and that parsley. It's going to make for a very tasty and quick dinner. Alright, we are just about done there. This is also a very healthy meal. If you can look, there's not a lot of oil and stuff around. You could even serve this chicken with these peppers in a wrap. You could serve it in a, on a salad. You could even serve it in a roll with a little bit of garlic sauce. That would taste really good too. Alright, so I'm going to turn this off. I'm just going to show you guys how I would serve this for my family. Okay. So here I have a little board and I have some fresh lettuce, some sour cream and some shredded cheese. Remember I have those toasted um, wraps already. I have my chicken ready to go and I'm going to go ahead and put my guac right here on this board along with the other sides. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grill myself a fajita. You guys, that dinner was so fast. I hope you guys try this and let me know if you guys enjoy it. This is so fun to do because the kids can mix and match it as they like. You could even put little bowls of black beans. If you're um, if you're somebody who likes spice, you can maybe add a little bit of pepper, a little jalapenos, whatever you like. The possibilities are endless. And I really, really hope you try this recipe and leave me a comment in the, in the, in the box below. All right, guys. Bye. See ya. Check this recipe out at NestleRecipesCaribbean.com. Bye.